We all want our children to develop to their full potential. This requires us to offer the best possible start of life for all boys and girls to grow up in a nurturing environment that equips them with the life skills to face and shape their own future. Many of the speakers today will touch upon the critical importance of early childhood education. First of all, for the child itself, of course, but not only for the child, also for the country as a whole, for its human resources development and for its economy. We know that 85% of the brain develops in the first five years of life, and this is where we can make the biggest impact on learning for a child. We know that children who start education early, learn better in school later on, have better results, stay longer in schools, and are less likely to drop out of school. We also know that especially disadvantaged children, such as those from poor families, those living with a disability, are benefiting even more from participating in quality early education. Based on these strong advantages, research has proven that early education is one of the best investments a country can make. Early education pays off. Each dollar invested um, will generate a return from between six to $17. And there's not much investment within a country you can make that beats that uh, ratio. For instance, this is a better return on investment than investing in tertiary education. Romania has made significant progress in early education over the last 10 years. Participation in preschool has increased to 91% in 2016, from 75% 75, 75 in 2006. I would like to reiterate four key recommendations for all of us to take forward. First of all, let's continue to look at increasing the investment in early education in Romania, and at least start moving towards getting a closer, closer percentage of uh, uh, allocation compared to the average in the European Union. This will allow an increased participation in early education of vulnerable children from poor communities, Roma, children with disabilities, but also, secondly, improve the quality of education. As a second recommendation, early education should be inclusive. Discrimination against Roma children, poor children, children with disabilities must be prevented, and creches, kindergartens, and schools need to be a welcoming environment for all children. As a third recommendation, early education should be of high quality. Teachers should receive better training to translate the principle of modern education into the curriculum and into a quality pedagogical practice. And lastly, intersectoral cooperation needs to be improved, especially at the local level. According to research, children, especially those vulnerable, need coordinated support from education, health, and social sectors in order to have the best learning results.